Welcome in to the new members and to the old members that have found their way back to the community. I need you just as much as you need me. In this morning's update, we are going to talk about a very volatile wild night we had last night. XRP not so much as it's right around the area where we left off yesterday. I think when we left the live last night, right around the 6.8, 6.85 maybe, 6.87, somewhere around there. And XRP overnight went to 7.03, so 70.3 cents. And then we had a volatile retracement down to about 66.9 cents. And now we're back up to 68 cents. So we've rebounded a little bit off the swing low at about 6.69 um, after the push up last night. So we're, we're range bound between 7.03 and 6.69 right now was the swing. And I'm happy to see that because if that was a fake out, a bear trap right there to get everybody out of not just XRP, but crypto across the board with what Bitcoin's doing. Bitcoin went up to 73,000, hit our technical target last night, roughly right around 78,000, or I mean uh, 73,800. Let's target this right up. But it came up to this technical move, 73,773, as you can see. And now if we can break above this, then we can open up the expanded range up into the top of the rising channel at 76,200. So if we can break up now, we came down for a nice liquidity candle at 71,700. And now we can see Bitcoin's already reversed from 71,700. It's up almost 1,100 points from that swing drop already. So this is one of the things, if you're newer to crypto, that a lot of people get upset about. Because it'll go up and then it corrects so much. But to me, going up to 73,300 and correcting all the way down, where did this end up hitting on the correction down so far? Not saying that the correction's over. Well, let's say this is the exhaustion candle here. It came all the way down to 71,694. That means from the top, you had a drop of 2,100 points. Or about 2,000, just over 2,000 points. After finally getting up to the technical target, the first target. So now we have to ask ourselves, did Bitcoin clear out enough to where now we're just going to continue moving up? And now all the short traders, once again, are set up in a very bad spot here. That's what I would ask myself. And that's what you should ask yourself as well. Was this a pure play so that the ones who are going long on Bitcoin to the top of the channel are now probably pushed out? And then across the board, if you were going long, you know, as far as a leverage trade, it makes it very difficult. That's why I say spot is king. So on these high times of volatility, like this big swing, literally XRP just went from 703 to 699. Or I mean, uh, 669. So the swing on XRP is tremendous. And I've been watching this right now because now it looks like to me, as long as that's a squeeze candle down and we end up coming back up and hold this formation, it's at about 68.10. That's going to be our confirmation of a breakout. We had a wick down, wick down. So now we retested for all intents and purposes this exhaustion candle. So now if this is the indicator right now, it would be very interesting if it is because now we need to come back above and hold 681 and use that as the floor. Now that we got the overextended wick, this is what we talked about last night. And we were hoping we didn't have to do this because of uh, possibilities of liquidating some that might be taking chances here. But we came down, came around, exhaustion. We came through and now we pull back up. Now we need to start using this and come through this. If we can do that and use this in unity now, we could have a nice breakout. And I still dare say quant is front running what's about to happen for XRP. Yes, we had a nice liquidity candle, which I don't know anybody if you're new to XRP, but this is typically what happens when we're about to have rallies. They always exhaust us, always. Not saying we're going to have a rally, but looking at quant, quant was up 11% yesterday. It's up 2% today. So I'm anticipating this move that quant just did out of XRP. We broke out of the... Uh, we had a cup and handle, we put in a bullish handle, consolidated the handle, and I believe how we went up here and then came down right to here at 117, then popped out. I believe that's probably what XRP just did. This is, I think, what we were waiting for. We talked about this last night. After the initial push, if XRP would now pull down like uh, Quant did, I was hoping not. I was just hoping it would just do what it needed to do. 
but it's uh it's a very interesting pattern for XRP. It really is. Because you could even say XRP came out, back down, tried again, hit another support, and now it's going to try to bounce. I mean, that's what we could try to say now. But we need this to start to uniformly push up here. We need this to now start to play. In the, I'll show you what I mean. But let me uh, timestamp this and uh, get through all the what I need to do real quick. But we've got a lot to talk about here. I'm very excited to be on this morning. I know a lot of people might be down. I'm very excited that we had this drop. <laughs> you have no idea. And I'm glad the drop happened from 703 to 669 and not like 68 to 62 or 64. If this lines up like this, this is extremely bullish. If this can hold this 681 level on the way back up, and that's only a wick. This is going to tell us everything we need to know this morning. I'm so blessed that each and every one of you are going to be watching this on this update. So let me timestamp this. And if you are watching right now, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube will recommend this live. I know I came in with some data real quick to start the update because I wanted everybody to know those key little pieces of information that have developed overnight. So please hit that like button so that YouTube will recommend this update. It'll allow more users, not just or more users to find this audience, not just new users, but old viewers as well that might not be seeing us through their feed. And by you hitting that like button, YouTube recommends this video. And all of a sudden it starts appearing again in the YouTube algorithm through the people's feeds. So without that, let me get this time stamped. Good morning, 10, 17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. I'm XRP future millionaire, and I reside in the great state of again. If you're looking to make a trade, good time to look in the video description below and or pin comments during this retracement and or development into maybe something more. We'll keep a very close eye on this this morning together, and we'll look at all of the questions that we could have this morning with the XRP chart, see what would happen if it did break down, or if we have a parabolic spike out of this now correction. We'll see what the opportunities are here, but if you're looking to trade XRP, especially in this correction phase, or you're looking to do other things on leverage or spot, look in the video description below and or pinned comments in the USA, lowest spot and leverage trading fees in the USA. You don't need to use a KYC and it's bait Unix. It's in the video description below and or pinned comments. UK and Canada, you can also use it. So take advantage of that. It's up during the high times of volatility. So if we got to get in and out, if we got to make some kind of addition or subtraction, you can do it in the high times of volatility as well. So just pay attention to that as well. So when we're looking at XRP right now, XRP sitting at 67.9 cents, down about 1.39%. Right now, it's very important right now that we do one thing. See how we created this uptrend here on this wick? It would be very beneficial for us to be using this as the pattern. Very beneficial to not fall outside of this uptrend now. Because this could be the overextension now to where we get that consolidatory uh, pressure. And now we can make the push like we've seen Quant make. So now we're going to want to try to hold 60, well, 67 cents approximately if it were to come back down. Preferably, we want this to start pulling up now in a universal way at 68.15. Personally, that's what I would like to see. But we'll see it. It's going to be a very contingent on Bitcoin. As we know, we came back down. We retested this breakout area. And now, this got pulled away a little bit somehow, some way. But now we back tested this this morning. Basically right on exactly on the back test, which is pretty crazy. Although it should be higher because this, unless you come down like this, we were coming through like this yesterday. So I mean, we're basically, we're right there right now. This is right there. If it's going to break out, it's got to do it in the short order. It's got to use this area as a bounce out. That's 67... 20, 67, if, if it's going to come back, we've got to start using some of this as support. And we are set up for a very volatile swing here if it plays out truthfully here. We've done exactly what we need to do. We went up, we cleared out space. It's just the problem is right now, if Bitcoin decides to just give up, if Bitcoin gives way, which it looks like it's starting to put in a reversal back up, but we still need to push up a little bit more here. We'd like to get back over 73 
But if this is starting to reversal back up, we could have a very volatile swing today because Bitcoin did dump down, like I said, some 2,000 points after it hit that to get a little bit of correction here. And now if it has eyes on here, first target's going to be to try to get back over 73 and hold, then 73,773. If you get back over that, we're going to be we're going to be trying to run up to 76k if this doesn't break down. So I said this very well could be a bear trap or bear trap set up this morning to get everybody off their positions. And it's pretty interesting here. It's pretty interesting the setup because it could legitimately go either way here. The start of the morning it looked like Bitcoin wanted to come through more. But now it looks like it might have just been toying with everybody. So I find these updates at this time very, very valuable. Because then we can at least, you know, make an honest, educated, and informed decision in our own heads what's happening. So right now, Bitcoin, much like XRP, is trying to, it's trying to start something here. It almost, it's so difficult when you get into these little motions here. But it looks like Bitcoin is trying to play off of something like this. And yeah, it fell outside of it at first, but let's just see how this plays out here. Let's just see how this plays out here. Because there's a lot of optics going on this morning. A lot of optics. But there's a reason why it cleared out that 73,300 overnight. Especially because it, didn't, it should have just fell off if we were going to fall. That's what's getting me right now. If Bitcoin was going to fall off, it could have just fell off right there. Unless it's trying to trap more. But this very well could have been an instance where it was grabbing liquidity here. To try to re-test that 73,300 and further. So I'm going to be excited to watch this this morning. Make sure you're in spot. The liquidity of leverage trading makes it very difficult for some. And I see the comments all the time. I see comments all the time about how if XRP doesn't go up to $35 or $40, it would be a waste of time. And how it's cost people so much money. Here's my best advice I can give you. Don't just own XRP. Own the assets you believe are going to go push forward into the future and start building a real list that you can be proud of. I have 13 other assets outside of XRP, not counting my commodities. I'm talking about crypto only. Between the Internet of Things and the ISO tokens, I believe this is where it's at. I'm not just going to put everything into XRP and then sit here and be like, oh, it's cost me money. You know, I've watched all these other tokens. Some run three, four hundred percent in a day or two. You see now one of our bags we had was AMP that we expanded to just three days before the move. And then we're already out of AMP. As we bought in at 0.049 and got out at 1.5 cents. And now it's back down to, I don't even know, about 1.25. Yep. Or we got out at 17, my mistake. Um, but it's an interesting dynamic we're in right now. Just It's a very interesting dynamic we're in right now. Because everything looked like when we woke up, like if you just woke up and you're starting to look at the charts, you're like, oh, it's bearish. And it very well might be. This very well might just break down and we could have a nice correction here. But I'm looking at it from optimistic, you know, being optimistically um, looking at this like from a, it's like be optimistic, but also be um, a little nervous at the same time. Because of just how volatile it is, it makes it a little uncomfortable. Unless you're in spot, which is where we're at and we feel good about that. But I'm saying from a, from a standard trade here, it makes you uncomfortable. Because look at Bitcoin. For the volatility, it's up and down, up and down. And it shows a lot of signs this morning. If you're just looking at the two second chart or the five minute or ten minute, it looked like it was just about to collapse all out. But if you start to look at it a little bit deeper, we know if Bitcoin can ride this pattern out to the top. It makes for a very bullish opportunity for the rest of this afternoon. If it breaks down, it's going to make for a very bearish moment, especially if we break below this area. We really want to hold this. This little move we made is what we want to hold. Because right now we've just had wicks out, and we really want to hold this, then push up to 73, 773, and then push out and try to push 76K at the top of the rising channel resistance, just like with XRP. We want XRP to now... Yes, it's a split tier because we wanted to stay above here at 68.1 cents roughly. We came down here to the second hit on the uptrend. So we had the exhaustion candle, hit it again with a little wick. And now we're trying to see if we can pull back up at 681 and start to use the validity of this can this pattern and start to break out now. 
But we've got all the evidence in front of us now. Now it's a matter of, can we run out of here? Can we use that newfound support that we got by dropping down to 66.9 cents? And can we start moving up? Will Bitcoin be the catalyst to help XRP finish this next push up? And if we do push up, at minimum, it's going to be 75 cent resistance. We're going to retest that area at minimum if we do push up. And more than likely, if this does break out, we're going to go up to 82 cents. And we're going to retest, or not retest, but we're going to hit the pattern formation from November of 2021, which is right here. And technically, the target would match up, coming up here to 81.6 cents. We already hit the uptrending support once, twice, a third time on this volatile swing down, pushed up. Now we retested the back test at 66 cents. We hit it again at 66.9. So now you could even say, for all intents and purposes, if you go back to that rising channel resistance, we even back tested it again just now. By coming down here an hour ago, we back tested this successfully a second time. So now if this is the case and we start to roll off of this, this could be a big move. Oh, this could be a big move. And now we can see what actually formed. It came through. We don't even have to do it like that. We can actually make this look a little bit clearer for everybody who doesn't quite understand how to do this themselves. Just so maybe next time you can look at this and be like, you know what? How did I not see that? So that's what's happening right now. And then we don't even really need that downtrend because we know we've got it on another the other chart that shows it more accurately. But I want to at least fill this in so everybody can see this. So we got this resistant wick. You hit this one. And we're going to come through here. We're going to see if at any point we can break that. And now the interesting thing is, is what, what started to develop here. So we've got our evidence. This is, this is it. It's either we break out of this or we don't. It's either we break out of this or we don't. If this doesn't go bullish after that consolidation, even on this expansion, if this doesn't break bullish, it would be an issue. It would be an issue. If this breaks down, it would be an issue because then you've got more consolidatory zones that we could visit. Like if we lose this area which this we don't need. If we lose this area, it's opening the door to a possible drop back down to 61 cents. Obviously, 66 cents is going to have to hold if it breaks down. And we can see right here, we've retested this area before. It's not, it's not that we haven't, but now we really need it to hold and be our catalyst out. If we look at it in the 30-minute time frame, are we starting to rotate a little bit? Maybe. 15-minute? Could be a reversal candle. So in about 47 seconds, we're going to have a big moment here. We would like to close, and we're not over 58 or 68 cents right now. It's still a reversal candle as we've come off 669 in the last 15 minutes. Bitcoin's come off a 71,500 roughly. Or I mean, uh, what did it hit? Yeah, 71,700. So Bitcoin's come off some 1,100 points. Well, it was. Now it's about 900 points from that swing down. So it's going to be interesting. This next 15-minute candle is going to tell us it all. It looks like we're having a reversal candle. But we'll see. That candle ends in three seconds. Pushed a little red to start. So that's, you know. So we're going to have to deal with this consolidation right now. We're trying to break that uptrending uh, trend line right now. If we can break that trend line down, we could have a very volatile spike right now. That that's that's where we're at right now. I'm not sugarcoating it this morning. We're at a spot right now. If we can hold this consolidation, XRP is set up, and if Bitcoin plays this out to the top, and we re-push 73, look at this. Bitcoin is definitely set up for a big push if it could just hold this. This is it right now. This 15 minute candle is everything. If we do break down and Bitcoin does come below here at 72,100, we could have a healthy correction here. First would be 71,345. And then ultimately, if it doesn't hold, we could be talking about a pretty big correction. Now, the one, the one obvious thing 
if we're watching this, is that Bitcoin obviously hasn't come up to the rising channel resistance and it's come all the way up. Kind of behooves us not to come up there and at least test it once. But we'll see. This is going to be the most volatile swing right now. It's either we hold it or we don't. So we're going to see it in real time right now. We're either going to hold this or we're going to fall right through. I built everything for us to see this morning. If you do appreciate what I do and you want to show some extra support, I do ask if you want to show appreciation to send one YouTube super chat per month or join Tom's army. But this is the moment right now. We're going to make the bid right now. It's either we're going to come through or we're going to hold this uptrend and we're going to start to make uh, some noise here. I would love to see us make some noise and not have to have a further downside correction. But we have shown every little detail that has to be seen this morning. I've shown you on Bitcoin what has to happen if we want it to break up. And the opportunity that could present itself if it does break down here. So this is the moment here. If we want this to have a nice continuation here, we don't want to lose this at 72,000, period. So, but we've got a lot of pressure both ways. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see exactly who decides to take control here, the bull or the bears. But it's going to be a finicky ride here, I'll tell you that much. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube will recommend this update. Subscribe to the channel and join the over 20,800 subscribers so you can reach all my future, uh, further content. If you're looking to trade XRP or you're trying to position yourself here, make sure you look in the video description below and our pinned comments. Whether leverage or spot trading BitUnix, lowest spot and leverage trading fees in the USA. They have a license in Canada and the USA. You can trade in the UK and across abroad. You don't need a VPN to trade or KYC unless you're using a bank account. So... Just consider that. Watch everything I've shown you this morning and watch this twice if you have to. If you made it until the end, hashtag be better, do better. And remember, we're trying to hold this uptrending support at all costs. If we lose six, we want to hold roughly 67 cents right now. 669. But we want to hold this and start rotating back up. Otherwise, unfortunately, we could have a healthy correction here. But we want to play this bull flag to the top side. So let's just continue to watch this unfold. Let's see if Bitcoin, in fact, can hold this level of consolidation that it's created at 72,000 and see if we can actually rotate back up instead of continuing down. Because if we rotate back up, this could be a very special day today. Very special. And that's a, that's a gravestone, Doji. It's almost like it's suggesting to us that we're running out of steam to the downside. I'm going to be very interested to see how this plays out the rest of the day. Have a blessed afternoon, and I hope to see your comments to let me know what you're thinking. Have a blessed day.